Hello guys and welcome to the part number 46 of the note editor tutorial series. My name is Pavel Křepla from BlenderFreak.com and today in this part we are going to implement for our node the visualization of the states dirty and invalid. As you can remember in the last part we created this awesome context menu for the node where we can mark dirty or even invalid which we can use later to detect errors in the inputs and stuff. So if we do eval, every flag here will reset and also we can do that recursively with all of the children's and descendants here on the node. So if I choose mark descendants dirty, all of the other nodes are now dirty, which makes sense once we change, for example, the value to something different. So I hope you are excited and let's start coding. In the last episode we implemented the context menu for the node where we put some actions like mark dirty, invalid or unmark invalid and evaluation and we should definitely have some functions in our node for that. So because it's starting to get a little bit long this file I'm just going to collapse a bunch of the functions here in the node and let's write some comments here. So these are going to be our serialization functions. We should also have some traversing node functions. We should also have our node evaluation stuff. So definitely we are going to ask if it's dirty and mark them as dirty. And for that we are going to create the new flags in our constructor. So dirty and evaluation self dot underscore is dirty. By default that's going to be false and is invalid. It's by default going to be false also. So always when the node is going to be invalid that's gonna be higher priority than if it's dirty or not. Anyways uh, let's go to the node evaluation stuff and write some function for that. So define is dirty and in this case just return self dot underscore is dirty. Define mark dirty and pass in self and new value which by default is going to be true. So if we call this without any parameter we will set up is dirty to be true. But also we are able to pass false and reset this flag this way. The same thing will go for the invalidation. So is invalid. Return self dot underscore is invalid. And define mark invalid. Again with the new value. True and self dot underscore is invalid is going to be new value. It would be also awesome to be able to override just callback if something has been marked dirty or invalid. So we can say if self dot underscore is dirty, then call self dot on marked dirty. The same thing for the invalid. So if self dot underscore is invalid, then call self on marked invalid. And by default define on marked dirty and just pass and the same for the invalidation. So let's copy the function name here like this and that's perfect. Also we should definitely have some default eval function which you can say by default it's going to return zero for now just to be able to call them. If you go to the calculator sub window now we can finish our context menu and if selected is true or it's actually not none and the action is equal to evil action we can just retrieve the value which is going to be selected dot eval and print if debug context print evaluate it value like this. Also for the rest we can say mark dirty action then select it dot mark dirty 
let's copy that around for the others mark invalid action we can mark invalid and unmark invalid action with false perfect let's try that if it does crash or not and if we do eval we should get zero perfect so let's create some visualization of the state of the node and to create the visualization if we have a look in the node we decided that our graphical node instantiated here this class or subclass actually will handle all of the graphic stuff here so we could go ahead and implement the visualization into the QDM graphics node and if we have a look we got some events and a paint function which is here however I do not want to change this default node behavior so let's just go to our example the calculator and here in the calc node base most of the time we are using calc graphics node which is here so for the visualization I went ahead and created a new image these are just three icons and we can use them and draw them near the node itself to be able to visualize the state of the node directly let's go here to the calc graphics node we can override init assets call whatever was there already and also say self dot icons equals to q image icons slash status icons dot png we don't know the q image so from by qt5 qt goi import everything perfect and we can override the paint function first of all let's call the parent paint function painter q style graphics item and the widget like this and here we can add to the paint function whatever we want so first of all we are using three icons in the image so the offset let's say by default is going to be 24 pixels i'm going to open it again so we can have a look this image got 24 pixels on the height so this first one the first offset is 0 this one is 24 and here is 48 so in our case let's say that the offset is 24 if self.node dot is dirty we can say that the offset is going to be 0 however if self.node dot is invalid we can say that the offset is going to be 48 pixels and then we can just say painter dot draw image and I guess uh, here is the target so Q rectangle F and let's say minus 10 minus 10 24 and 24 that's going to be the target so for that let's go ahead and from pi qt5 dot qt core import everything just like that okay then we can pass in the q image in our case it's self icons and here is the source so q rectangle f offset definitely starting at top and 24 pixels by 24 pixels like this perfect now when i press play and create a new node as you can see we got an awesome looking icon here so if i mark it dirty it perfectly changed to uh, another icon if i mark it invalid it's just like that perfect so this will definitely help us to debug the code and the notes itself for example if we have an add function or add node here and we connect everything together like this once I change this value to something invalid, we should be able to see exclamation mark. Also, if we change the value to something which is correct, then we should definitely mark all of the descendants as uh, dirty. 
So let's have a look. I'm going to close this now and it would be definitely awesome if we have a possibility to mark the children as dirty. Let's define a new function. Define mark children dirty self and the new value by default is going to be true. And for other node in self dot get children nodes, we can say other node dot mark dirty with the new value like this and the get children nodes is going to be our first traversing function and this can be really simple in the case that the output is empty list then there are no children so if self dot outputs is equal to empty list then just return empty list outputs like this okay and then we can collect every other node into the list and at the end we can return that and the way we can do that is pretty simple so other underscore nodes is equal to empty list and for each edge in self dot outputs and we are interested just in the first output because usually we will have one output dot edges we can say that other node is equal to edge dot something like get other socket and we know that's going to be different than the outputs zero like this and then we can in the socket say dot node and retrieve the node however with the edges we got a little problem here because either way if we got an edge it's got a starting socket and end socket and we don't know for sure if we going from this left to the right direction um, or from the right to the left direction so we don't know which one of the starting socket or end socket is being set up actually so to ease our life a little bit we can define a new function and call it get other socket and pass in the known socket which will help us with this decision and retrieve the other socket so we can return self dot start socket if our actual known socket which we passing in this function is equal to self dot end socket so if we are asking and passing end socket just retrieve start socket otherwise we can pass self dot end socket and this will help us with the selection of the other socket on the edge so let's go here this is the get other socket and this way we retrieve the socket and we can ask for the node pretty simple right now let's just do other nodes dot append other node and at the end return other nodes just like that however if we will have multiple outputs then we will count only the children for the first one we can make it a little bit better so for each index in length of self dot output can call this function and instead of zero we can type ex and instead of len we should type range length self outputs like this and this way it will work even for multiple outputs for a single node and now when we can get the children nodes we can also create something like eval children and here we can for node in self dot get children nodes we can call node dot eval just like that and this will trigger recursively the evaluation from the left to the right or from the inputs inputs node to all of the outputs connected there or actually it will just call it on the children in the first row but definitely this function can help us later when we are going to evaluate all of the nodes recursively that's what i meant however let's go here to the mark children dirty and this is again just going to if you get a node 
mark dirty all of the children and then it will stop. If we want to propagate it further, let's create a new function for that. Mark descendants dirty with self and new value by default going to be true. So for other node in self dot get children nodes other node dot mark dirty the new value and also other node mark children dirty with a new value and this will actually trigger the recursive evaluation of the nodes perfect let's copy these two functions also for the invalidation so invalid invalid here we should call mark invalid and mark children invalid here should be this sign perfect and we should be running flawlessly so mark dirty mark invalid unmark eval perfect we can test our eval to return zero however let's call mark dirty that's going to be false and also self dot mark invalid to be false so this way when we trigger our evaluation we can basically uncheck all of these different states so eval and it changed because we reset it in all of the flex here on the node it is perfect and to test our other functions let's go ahead to the sub window and create new actions for that so we can test just the first one mark dirty descendants action context menu dot action mark descendants dirty mark descendants dirty and if we choose this action we can call mark dirty descendants action no we should call just mark descendants dirty like that and let's test this out add an output and mark descendants dirty perfect as you can see all of the nodes connected here are changed let's try it even this way reset the flex and mark descendants dirty everything connected as an output to the input node has been marked which is perfect so that's gonna be everything for this part i thank you for watching and see you at the next part